This is Meme Coin Max, and I watch the charts so you don't have to. And today, guys, I'm going to give you a Pepe Coin price prediction. And while we are in a bit of a correction right now, I do think that better times are ahead. You sure about that? But before I get into that, make sure that you guys understand that I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Also, smash that subscribe button and like this video as well. Okay, guys, so let's get into our video today, Pepe Coin, and where I think it's going to be both short term and long term. Short term, we could say between one month to two months, whereas long term, I'm going to say is going to be within six months to one year from now. Keep that in mind moving forward. Quickly looking at this article here from FX Empire, there's three key points that I want to go over here. The first one being Pepe's price currently testing the lower trend line of a rising wedge pattern has the potential to rebound 100% towards the 4022 territory. Hmm, that sounds pretty bullish. It also says here that large investors are continuing to hold substantial Pepe supplies despite the recent price correction. Now, this is good because we want those big boys to hold on to their big bags, right? We don't want these big whales selling off their supplies. No, no. We want them to hold on, and that's exactly what they're doing. Lastly, it says here that Pepe's likelihood of a rally by over 100% increases amid boosting expectations for a September interest rate cut. So here's a few things to be very bullish on with Pepe. The number of holders is increasing every single day. As you guys can see here, that number is slowly but surely increasing. On average, it looks like there's about 500 to 1,000 new holders every single day. And if that number keeps increasing at the rate that it's increasing of, I think that we could see the number of holders surpass 300,000 by the end of 2024. Do you think that could be possible? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Another thing that I really like to talk about on my live streams is this. This is vidIQ.com. VidIQ is a search engine optimization tool for YouTubers. So these keywords are going to be for YouTube specifically. Keep that in mind. Right here you can see that I've typed in Pepe coin and it's given me a bit of a score here of 88. Now we're going to ignore this number and we're definitely going to ignore the competition number but what we are going to focus on right now is the search volume. Now last month that search volume number was sitting at around 225,000 and right now it's sitting at 462,000. That's near double the number of last month which means that there is double the interest of Pepe coin since one month ago. This could spell out a growing interest for Pepe coin and hopefully some more views for me, right? But besides that, the number of people that are searching for Pepe coin on YouTube is growing. And this means we could possibly see this search volume grow even more as the months go on. And with meme coin season still fresh in effect, I do think that we are in for some more growth in more than just one way. Now, besides the increasing search volume and the number of holders increasing, as I've mentioned before, I want to bring you to this chart here. This is a chart of Pepe coin. And as you can see, there's some indications of when the FOMC had their meetings. The whole point of this is to spell out that whenever there was an FOMC meeting, it's usually been pretty bullish for Pepe overall. We actually just had an FOMC meeting today at the time of this recording, and I can honestly say it's a little bit too early to judge how that's going to affect the price, but I will keep you guys updated as things go on. A quick note here supporting that chart, saying here that such an outcome is expected to boost expectations for an interest rate cut by the FOMC in September significantly. Now this is according to Stuart Kaiser, Citigroup's head of US equity trading strategy. And yes, this is a seven day view of Pepe coin and things don't really look too good right now. But when in doubt, just zoom out. And of course, we're looking at a year average. Before I get into my price prediction, I want to note a couple of things here. A number of tokens was stolen from the community treasury late August. Now, that was about $16 million worth. 
This happened before the massive pump that we saw at the end of February of this year, and this sort of treachery and honestly really disgusting behavior did not even affect the price of Pepe coin. As you guys can see, the price has been increasing slowly but surely ever since. I do say slowly but surely because I do believe in a much bigger picture for Pepe coin, with the price that we're currently sitting at right now being a thing of the past in the future. But anyways, the price was increasing since February of 2024, and things did go down a little bit. People around this time began to issue out some FUD. And of course, FUD is very uneducated, because you could see the people that started to FUD around this point ended up realizing that the price was going to continue to go up despite any of the stuff that they were saying about Pepe coin. The price reached its all-time high of 4017, and then of course things started to die down a little bit. This is no FUD at all, in fact, I welcome this correction for a couple of reasons. The first one being is that it's going to be a much better entry point for anybody new who wants to get into Pepe coin. And maybe these people have been looking on the sidelines for a nice juicy dip in order to scoop up at a better entry point. Also know that there are whales waiting to accumulate at lower prices. Obviously, whales are unlikely to accumulate around here, but once they see the token starting to dip, that could spell a new bottom and what could be the start of the next Pepe bull run. So maybe some of these whales might be chomping away at some of these prices the lower they get. I do think that things will continue to correct though, and that's totally fine. This is a seven day view of what I'm looking at right now, and you guys can see that we're mostly in the red. I think that we can continue to bleed out, but I don't think that we're gonna add a zero to the price. I think we're gonna floor out at about four zeros 11 to four zeros 12. And then I think shortly after, maybe towards the end of this month, we could see Pepe start to rally again with a bull run that could bring us in the short term to 402 to 403. I think that it's very possible that Pepe could float around this, but also keep in mind that there will be a lot of turbulence once Pepe reaches this price. I do think long term though, that Pepe coin could actually delete a zero by the end of 2024, and definitely a little bit into 2025 as well. And of course, my predictions are fueled by my knowledge of meme notoriety. You guys already know that Pepe has already been established as one of the biggest memes on the internet. So of course, one of the tokens that is made by Pepe, it has to soar, obviously. It had that viral meme energy back then, so what's stopping it from having viral meme energy now? I do think it's possible that with everything I've discussed today, plus this meme notoriety, can bring us to some new all-time highs. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we'll reach these all-time highs and soar into the heavens and beyond? Or do you guys think that we will crash, crumble, and burn into the never realms of forgotten crypto? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, we've reached the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you enjoy my content, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also like this video. And hey, if you want to support the channel, there are some links in the description of today's video. This is MemeCoin Max here signing off, watching those charts so you don't have to.